Second negative constructive. Hello, my name is Gavin Hancock. I'm here to speak to you all about the negatives of nationalized healthcare. To start off, let's talk about the issues that come with free healthcare. First, having free healthcare could increase the U.S. debt and deficit by spending money on Medicare, Medicaid, and the Children's Health Insurance Program, and all the other government programs that provide the right to healthcare for certain segments of the population. In 1985, healthcare was 10% of the federal budget, but by 2012, these programs took up to 21% of the federal budget and predicted it would hit 30% of the federal spending by 2028. Yes, however, the total public and private healthcare spending could be lowered by up to $1.8 trillion over the next 10 years due to the lowered administrative and prescription drug costs. But the cons outweigh the good. Even though it would help some people who aren't able to afford health care, it would severely hurt the nation as a whole and do more damage to the people than good. Solution to the issue found by the, Nas- the National Academies of Science is that we get rid of 30% of the total health care that spending goes to unnecessary, ineffective, overpriced, and wasteful services. They propose that we can try to pay for performance initiatives, alternative payment arrangements, for patient care such as bundled payments and responsible care organizations, as well as expanded use of capitated payments to Medicaid's long-term care beneficiaries. Cross-exam. Do you really think that kind of plan would work? Why would you think so? What would you do about the certain issue that, though, I don't have the actual argument, so these are the questions that I would ask. My partner and I have some knowledge of that ground as well, I'll let my partner inform you now. The rebuttal. Again, as we said earlier, the bad outweighs the good. Your argument sounds nice, but the studies from reputable sources show that it just wouldn't work. Every year that we would have it, the national debt would increase by $3.6 trillion, only digging us in a deeper hole. Going to our method has shown that it could work, and it is not impossible to accomplish. How do you feel about it? The idea to try pay for performance initiatives, alternative payment arrangements for patient care, and etc. would be more in-depth on how we would spend our money and not waste it on extra services with no benefits. Do you think it sounds fair instead of trying to move money around just to take it out of services and not waste the money in general?